Dear McCarney reporting as the DLR Waves picked up their first win in three games in the Women's National League with a 3-0 win over Cork City at Turner's Cross this evening. A fantastic performance from the Waves and they looked like they were going to win the game straight from the off. They commanded the game early, a couple of chances in Cork City doing their best to keep them at bay. But after 14 minutes, they broke the deadlock thanks to a Kate Mooney penalty after Nadine Clare was pushed in the box after breaking in well and trying to get a chance at goal. And that from there, they were looking the better team again. They did have the chances. Aoife Brophy and Avril Burley both coming very close to making it 2-0, but just couldn't get the breakthrough. But then, just as it looked like it was going to be 1-0, going into the halftime break, Sophie Waters made it 2-0 just two minutes from time. A great short corner routine by the Waves, seeing the ball going into the box from across. And just as it looked like Cork had done enough with a goal mount scramble, up stepped Waters to tap home past Maria O'Sullivan to make it 2-0 at the break. Shortly after the restart, they did look impressive again with another couple of chances. But Cork, to their credit, could have had a goal or two of their own into the second half making Eve Badana the busier keeper early on in that half anyway. Laura Shine pounced on a loose back pass, but Badana rushed out of the goal to clear before having to save later on in the half from Laura Singleton, who had a great shot just outside the box that she tipped out for a corner. Maria O'Sullivan was definitely busier late in the half, making a good string of saves to keep, keep waves at bay, but an uncharacteristic error three minutes into stoppage time saw Mia Dodd capitalise and put it into an empty net. Great results for the Waves and it finished at Turner's Cross. DLR Waves 3, Cork City nil.